Let me introduce you to Chinese privet, a non-native invasive plant here in our forests in North Carolina. It will continue to spread because after it blooms, it produces berries. The birds carry the berries throughout our forest. So a small clump becomes larger clumps and continues to spread. There are several options for control. One, if the, if the infestation is small, cut it down with a chainsaw, use a brush saw, you can treat the stumps with arsenal or Roundup solution, which is glyphosate, or you can use Garlon. If you don't want to treat all the stumps, wait for it to re-sprout, which it will do during the summer. Spray it in the fall of the year with a glyphosate formulation. Now you need to use a 3% solution of glyphosate to control privet. A 3% solution how much you use depends on the concentration of the Roundup or glyphosate that you purchase. It can range from 18% concentration to 48% concentration. Read on the label how many ounces of glyphosate it takes to make a 3% solution. Spray that foliage, like I said, in late summer, early fall. Another option are these machines that come in, they're called brush mulching machines where they actually chew it down to the root system. I've seen it work. They're very impressive. They're aggressive. They can go through large stands very quickly. But let me warn you, you do not kill the privet. You will have to retreat those sprouts again in late summer, early fall. So take a look at how much you have, what's the easiest solution, and maybe the least inexpensive solution to control it. But it needs to be controlled because this invasive non-native plant will continue to spread throughout your forest land. I'm Rhett Davis with the North Carolina Tree Farm Program.